In this tutorial, I will take you through the third tab of the color editor, the skin tone tab. It's a powerful tool for enhancing and making skin tones more uniform. If you haven't watched the color editor tutorial, I highly recommend watching that first as the skin tone tool is an extension of this. So I will show you how to take this image and tweak the skin tones into this. Notice that the tool does not do any retouching, but fine tunes the tone of the skin. So let's go back to the original image and get started. Since I don't want to affect the hair color, lips and such, I'll make a new layer. Let's call it skin tone. And mask in the areas that I want to adjust. Remember the shortcut B to get the brush. It's usually easier to mask big than erase the smaller parts. I'll pick my eraser using the shortcut E and delete parts of the mask that I don't need. There we go. Remember you can hide and show your mask with the keyboard shortcut M. Now it's time to pick the color range I want to adjust. I'll try to find a nice skin tone around here. Now I have my color range selected. The skin tone tool is very much about fine tuning. The unique part of this tool is the three uniformity sliders right here. First one, the hue slider will make the hues within my color range more uniform. Let me drag it all the way to 100 to show the effect. This is of course a bit unnatural as skin has nuances, but it helps me navigate towards my final hue of the skin tone. If it's too magenta or green, I can tweak the hue from the slider up here in the amount. That will shift the whole range in each direction, like so. When I'm happy with the actual hue, I can decrease the hue uniformity to balance it between uniform and natural. This seems like a good spot around here. Next up is saturation uniformity. If I drag this up to 100, it will evenly saturate the area and color range. Again, skin has variations, so to make sure it doesn't look too unnatural, I'll find a sweet spot somewhere around here. Remember, these uniformity sliders behave differently than the amount sliders up here. If I want to adjust the overall saturation of the skin, I have to use the amount slider up here. The last uniformity slider is lightness. This will even out lightness differences as you can see. An optimal setting for this portrait would be something around here. Lightness also has a corresponding amount slider up here, which affects the overall lightness of the color range. Now that the amount and uniformity sliders are set as I want, let me quickly mention this slider smoothness. This determines how much the adjustments of the color range will bleed into the surrounding colors. Usually I don't have to touch this slider at all when it comes to skin tone adjustments. Let me show you the total effect of the skin tone adjustment. So before, after, before, after. Remember that since the adjustment is on a layer, it can easily be toned down by using the opacity of the layer as well. Let me quickly show you another example where I use the skin tone tool to even out the color of the model's hands. Let's compare before and after. So before and after.